if you need a little extra help with finding opposites or identifying integers on a number line, then this video is for you. So be sure to follow along and you can do the reteach learn your math section in ed with me. If you are doing the on your own or the challenge, you're welcome to watch this video or you can just get started. So in the learn your math in ed, we need to remember that integers are all whole numbers. So one, two, three, and then it's everything on the opposite side of the number line two, negative one, negative two, negative three. So on and on on that number line. So negative numbers will always be smaller than zeros and we have to put that negative sign in front. Positive numbers always are going to be on the other side on the right and you don't need a positive sign to identify those. So when we decrease 15 points, we would write that as minus 15. If you withdraw money and you take money out of your bank account, minus 10. So what integer would show a temperature of five below zero? So it's under zero. So we wanna make sure we get that negative in there. So negative five is below zero. What integer would you use to represent three units left of zero? So it's lower than zero. So negative three is what we're looking for here. So then positive numbers are going to be greater and we don't need that positive sign. You can put it, but you don't need it. So an increase of 15 is getting plus 15. So when we just have a number, we can not use the positive sign, but if we're gaining it, we want to differentiate and use that plus sign there. So when you put money in your bank account, we'll put plus 10. So what integer would you use to represent a temperature of five above zero? So five above zero, positive five. And what integer can you use to represent three units to the right of zero? So more than zero plus three here. So here's our number line. We can look and see here. So opposites are the same distance, one, two, three, one, two, three. Same distance from zero, but they're going to be on opposite sides of zero. So negative three and three are opposites. Same distance, different sides. So finding my opposite, here's five. So looking for the opposite of five, just put the negative in front of it, negative five. So coming down here, negative five. Here's, well, then connect those. So the opposite of negative eight, go to the other side, eight from zero, makes that positive eight. So go ahead and see if you can finish those. And then you're going to go back to your ed page and press I'm done with this one. And then do the reteach, do the math, on your own. Good luck.